Are you tired of trying so hard, but it doesn't seem like anything is changing? Are you frustrated with giving it your all, but life just seems like you're stuck at a standstill? I know that feeling all too well. In the season after my divorce, I grew so weary. I got tired of trying hard and not making progress. Life seemed like it made no sense. But there was a Bible verse that I meditated on on a regular basis in Galatians 6, 9 that says, Do not grow weary in doing well, for at a proper time you will reap a harvest if you do not give up. And I kept that Bible verse on my bathroom mirror so that every morning I was able to reflect and meditate on it. And I held it close to my heart to remind me not to throw in the towel. And so today I want to give you practical steps that you can implement so that you don't throw in the towel even when you're weary. Let's talk about it. Are you in a stuck season where it seems like nothing in life makes sense, where it feels like no matter how hard you try, you just can't get ahead? The truth is we all have those seasons and we all have those moments where we feel stuck. But there's two types of people. There's the people that give up during those difficult seasons and throw in the towel. And then there's the people that decide that they're going to be resilient and they're going to push through no matter what. The neat thing is there's really no difference between those two people other than making an intentional decision. And so that intentional decision to build that resilience is something that you can make as well. Let's talk about the steps and the strategies that you can implement so that you don't grow weary and throw in the towel. We are programmed to believe that it's easier to quit than it is to fight for success. And therefore, when we have failures or we have setbacks, we feel more inclined to throw in the towel, to give up because we're tired or we're exhausted or we're weary. But the truth is that doesn't do us any good. The things that we fail at when we fall on our face, these are the very things that are teaching us the character and the strength and the resilience that we need to have success through life. So what do you need to do to be able to have the strength to push through when you're tired? The first thing you need to do is you need to rest. Our bodies are made for rest. And obviously in today's world, we have all these things vying for our attention and our time. And we wear all these different hats and we have all of these different responsibilities. And so rest is something that we put on the back burner. When in reality, it's something that needs to be prioritized. When you take time to rest and really rest your spirit and your soul and your body, then you allow your body to regroup and to attack what you're going through stronger and better. There's a total difference between rest and giving up. And a lot of people give up. If you're exhausted and you're tired and you're weary, take a break, regroup, and allow yourself to come back and tackle your approach in a better and more effective manner. One way that I implement rest is if I know that I'm extremely overwhelmed, I have a lot of things on my calendar for the day, and I'm exhausted, I will build in downtime. And it could be as simple as a 10 minute meditation, it could be as long as a two hour nap. Whatever it may be, I recognize that my body is designed for rest and that I'm not effective unless I'm well rested. And the same goes for you. So make sure that you're incorporating rest as a regular practice to fight against the growing weary spirit. When we go through life and things are hectic or things are crazy, it can be easy to forget what it is that we're working towards and why. But the most important step in making sure that you don't throw in the towel when you're tired is to remember your why and what it is that you're working towards. And so one of the things that I do is I keep my why right in front of me. When I was going through this season after my divorce, I was really devastated with the way that life was going and it didn't make sense. But I knew that I desired to write a book. I wanted to make a difference not only in my life, but in other people's lives. And more importantly, I wanted to leave a legacy for my children. And so my strong why for not throwing in the towel when I was frustrated with the writing process was the legacy that I wanted to leave for my children. So in my office where I would frequently write, I put a picture of my children. I also put a picture of my book. And so every day it was in the forefront of my vision to remember I'm working towards writing this book and I'm working on doing this for the legacy that I wanna leave for my children. And so in those moments when I got exhausted and when I got tired or I felt defeated or I didn't wanna work anymore, I looked at those two visuals and remembered what it was I was working towards and why. And both of those are powerful motivators giving you the momentum that you need to push forward even when you're tired. The 
The third step is to be committed to being consistent. When you're tired or when you're exhausted, it's easy to throw in the towel. But if you want something, you must be committed to it. I like to think of Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison desired to create a light bulb. And research says that he failed over a thousand times. And so the truth is he could have thrown in the towel at the first try, at the 50th try, at the 500th try. But he was so committed and eventually that commitment and that consistency paid off and he was successful. And the same goes for us. We must be committed no matter what. I like to think of my own experience with coaching. When I first began my coaching practice, I knew that I wanted to share my insights with the world. And so I created multiple social media pages on different sites and I would share all of these great inspirational quotes and motivational tips that I thought were great, but nobody was responding. I didn't even have social media friends for the longest. And then when I did, it seemed like I was just talking to a wall because nobody was liking it, nobody was responding. But I was so committed to making a difference that I continued to post and continued to share no matter what was going on. Let me ask you a question. How would your life change if you were so committed and so consistent for a year that you never gave in to those tired feelings and that you never threw in the towel or you never go, gave up? How would life be different? The reality is you are the only person that can get in the way of your success. And the difference between go-getters and those that just have strong desires is their unwillingness to give up and their commitment to their consistency. So now I ask you, will you be committed to your consistency and will you be unwilling to throw in the towel? Comment below and let me know. Make sure you hit like and subscribe. And until next time, I will chat with you guys later.